guys, Amanda here today with four tips to share with you when choosing um, the proper climbing crag pack for you. Uh, first and foremost, you want to consider your the pack's weight. Uh, so as a general rule of thumb to follow, uh, the lighter weight packs are going to be easier to carry, um, but generally less durable, while your um, heavier weight packs are going to be a little bit beefier and, and made to be beat up a bit more. So they're going to have more long-term durability. Um, which route you go kind of depends on how much weight you're going to carry and um, also the conditions that you plan on um, hiking with your pack through to get to the crag. Uh, tip number two, you want to consider the volume, so the capacity, uh, the internal storage capacity you're going to need, and that's going to be based on how much gear you plan on carrying. So in general, the more gear, um, the larger the volume pack you're going to want to have. As a general rule of thumb, um, around uh, 3,000 cubic inches is typically um, enough for a standard rack, uh, rope, snacks, and water. Um, everything you would need for, you know, a basic uh, a day trip to the crag. Uh, while you'll want to be looking more in the range of 5,000 plus uh, cubic inches for uh, longer excursions in the mountains. Um, thirdly, you want to consider your pack's frame type. Uh, generally, cragging packs are made of a closed cell foam type of pad, um, and that's going to be fine for day trips and light loads, but you're going to want to consider a beefier pack with um, a solid plastic sheet or metal stays um, if you plan on uh, carrying heavier loads longer distances. Um, finally, you're going to want to consider the accessories that might be beneficial to you and for the type of climbing you plan on doing. Um, so accessories on climbing packs typically include um, different options for external uh, pockets, crampon carriers, ice, loop, ice axe loops, um, daisy chains, which can make um, organizing your gear really convenient, and also hydration system compatibility. Um, so quickly to recap, uh, four tips for choosing the proper climbing crag pack for you. Uh, first and foremost, you want to consider the pack's weight, uh, keeping in mind lighter packs are going to be easier to carry, but typically less durable long term. Uh, next, you want to decide on how much volume you're going to need. So this will be based on how much gear you plan on carrying. Um, a good general rule of thumb is to aim for something in the 3,000 plus cubic inch range for day cragging while uh, you'll want to look more in the 5,000 plus cubic inch range for uh, longer multi-day excursions in the mountains. Uh, thirdly, you want to consider your frame type. Um, lighter packs are typically made um, of closed cell foam uh, type, which is fine for light loads and day cragging, but you'll want to consider a more uh, a beefier um, frame type, such as a plastic sheet or metal stays for carrying heavier loads of gear. And finally, you want to pick out the accessories that would benefit uh, you and the type of climbing you plan on doing. So with those options including um, gear storage uh, pockets, so like external pockets, crampon carriers, um, ice axe loops, daisy chains, which makes for you know easy internal gear organizations, and also whether or not you're interested in your pack featuring hydration system compatibility. So that's everything I have for you for choosing um, a climbing crag pack. Um, I'd love to hear any additional tips you might have or if one of these in particular was uh, really beneficial to you. And as always, uh, feel free to leave any feedback that you have in the comments below. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like connecting with other outdoor enthusiasts, you should definitely consider checking out Summit. Summit is a social network that brings together adventure junkies from all around the world to exchange stories, share advice, and inspire each other. You might even make some new friends too. It's kind of like Facebook for outdoorsy people, but with better privacy, no ads, no spam, and tons of extras. You can join Summit by going to summit.theadventurejunkies.com or by clicking the link in the description below. You can find me in Summit too, so be sure to say hi when you join.